here. <laughs> Hello, everybody. This is Carlos Ocelot, and welcome to the G2 podcast. Today, we are going to have the two, actually, the two biggest CSGO legends, some of the two biggest, uh, you know, within the top CSGO legends of all time, which happen to be on the same team and happen to be in G2. These two guys are Richard Papillon. Shocks and Kenny Jrop. I bless you. Kenny, yes. People, here they are. How are you guys doing? Uh, good, good. Thank you. And you? Super great. Yeah, truly. Thanks. You? So, how, how did the boot come so far? You're right now here in Berlin in the G2 Esports uh, offices, actually. Uh, you know, we are working on, the, on a facility here in Berlin. So, this is like momentarily the place in which you got. This may be actually the last time you train here. Uh, in future times, maybe on a, on a different place, actually. So how was it? In general, uh, we're we'll getting to details later. Yeah, but. in general, it was, uh, it, it was pretty good. It's still not over yet, as uh, we still have uh, one full day tomorrow. Oh, yeah, true. So, uh, that's good. Before going to Cologne, uh, trying to Cologne on Sunday. Today, Sunday, okay. Yeah. And, uh, then, and then in Cologne, how do you, so you, tr you play on Tuesday, right? Yes. Yep. Monday is a media day. Media so day, okay. photos yeah, right. and videos, interviews, stuff like that. Uh, talking about the boot camp, uh, I think it has been really good to see each other uh, for all the team. It's always great when you work with the person just next to uh, more than uh, <laughs> you are. I'm a professional, as you can see. <laughs> <laughs> more than you are uh, behind your computer or whatever. Um, we had tough times, uh, honestly. Uh, it has been really hard and we had to push ourselves because uh, our practice results uh, were definitely not that good. Uh, but at least we know why and we work a lot every day. So we kind of don't really know what to expect. That's the funny thing is like we can, if, if you trust our practice, you know, like you will see, okay, it's going to be destroyed or whatever. But because we are working a lot and practice are really different than official games because people are not playing the same CS right, or whatever yeah. and stuff. Uh, when we talk to each other, we are aware about every mistakes we are doing and what we have to improve on. And the thing is like, we all know that when we will be at an official game behind a computer in LAN and stuff, like we have 100% confident. Even it is different. Yeah. It's definitely different. You know, That's we it. spoke the other day about there has been so many tournaments actually or oh, not so many but maybe I can, I can remember them which is enough my memory is not the greatest so if i can remember them they had that you guys had incredible screams like fucking amazing screams mm -hmm. and the games in the tournament just went the opposite way mm. we had the and, opposite way as well when we are like super bad in practice exactly and we managed to win i think it was before malma mm -hmm. uh we our practice results were super oh bad. i remember that i remember that super bad even though like before the event and stuff we had a lot of issues we went through a lot of mistakes in practice and stuff and uh and we actually ended up being super good at malma probably the best tournament we played with the that was amazing the tournament. G2 teams, yeah uh so yeah, like as as we shall say, this bootcamp has been uh, has been quite difficult, uh, super hard, super rigorous. Uh, but we went through so many mistakes uh, that it has been super productive as well. Well, that's that's definitely a good thing. For I remember from when I was a player myself, the week it was ridiculous because it was the same week, the same thing, you know. And in the LCS, you play every weekend, right? Yeah. So if during the week the practice went really well, like we had a eighty percent win ratio, we would lose at least one game during the weekend. And if it was the opposite, if we had like 40% win ratio, we would destroy the weekend to zero. Every time, it was ridiculous. So, and, and I, I think there's some truth to that in the sense of, you know, when you lose, you remember why you lose. And most of it can be communication, which in scrims is always going to be worse than on stage, right? Some of it will be that people are playing too loose. Like, you know, you're not as stuck to the strategy, whatever you decide. You know, you may sleep yourself a little bit to peak, or to try something because it's screams. That's what their scream, the screams are for, right? Um, and as a result of that, then you know different results come. It's just very, you know, weird to predict. Um, so let's see, let's see. I mean, we'll get into what exactly you worked on on the on the uh, bootcamp later, but it's it's interesting. So screams didn't go as uh, didn't go perfectly, which uh, may as well uh, mean something good. Exactly, <laughs> exactly. Maybe especially with us. So. More generically, we have received so many questions, really, so many. It was, this was the podcast which received the most amount of questions 
from the people for uh, for Thanks. and 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 so i have a lot of them here that i will some of them I, we may touch later uh, but overall we have the key topics surrounding the majority of those questions so that those people that are making the same questions over and over have an answer right and the most important i think overarching question is how these how did these uh, changes that you guys made to the team uh, positively impacted the way you play and you can go on about as micro as you want or about as macro as you want you can talk about days you can talk about years just feel free mm, one point is that uh, especially because uh, also like i mean thanks to existence uh, leader style uh he for example uh, is doing a job that uh, myself uh, the past years as a leader uh didn't do and uh, it was a mistake for myself uh that he's watching uh every screams we are playing after we finished oh so he is always seeing our mistakes and he's pointing it out is, is it a normal thing actually to do like uh, like it, you should do that but it takes yeah, but a lot how of many, energy like, realistically know? like how, realistically how many in-game leaders do that i have no I idea know. to be honest <laughs> i have no idea and uh, i don't know so that's a very good thing because when we come back tomorrow then we different we directly know why he explained to us also after the screams of the day we can if if we don't play we watch together the screen by his screen and we talk about different things that happens or whatever so because he recorded himself in the practice so that's definitely a good point and his really big trends talking about the the long term i would say is that he will fix the mistakes but because it's a lot of small mistakes you know but it's details who makes you win at the end yeah you know? for sure is that 0.1 percent that's it but it comes it's not come in one week it's like he's do, he will do it like for two or three months every time and you will di directly see it like m later you know because these details won't make you better the day just after it will it, it just like a pyramid that you are <coughs> building day by day you know and it takes time so that's definitely a, a good point uh for the long term what about what do you yeah, think yeah i think i pretty much agree with him uh there is something super new that uh, happened when he joined the team uh something that hadn't happened for three years uh, probably since the last time I played with, uh, with Kevin, uh, the, the the details, uh, the nades, the everything is uh, everything is important to him. Uh, everything has to be fixed. Everything has to be better. Uh, but as Richard said, like back then, we we're not really focused on the details, but most more like on the big pictures. Uh, so we're not really touching everything. Like right now, we that's what I like. He's trying to to watch every every practice we do. Uh, seeing every smallest mistakes we can we can do. That's so nice. We did. Uh, so that's the biggest difference I can see with him. Uh, and uh, also, it's really easy to play with uh, on CS. I mean, myself, I feel really like I have a kind of chemistry with him. Uh, I know what he's going to do. Uh, everything he does, uh, everything he wants me to do, uh, with, this is everything I like. So I feel super confident. And injury-wise, it's, uh, it's a great addition for me as well. Uh, so... Yeah, I mean, we all we we were all really surprised about him. Uh, not only about the fact that he's really careful about the details and uh, and the fact that he's a great in game leader, of course, but also the fact that he's might be one of the. I mean, the the, the level he shows uh, is really fuck. Every time amazing. I join, he's like winning a, a clutch or some shit. It, it is ridiculous. Uh, I, mean, <laughs> I swear to God, like he, it's a, like when he's he has a rifle, he's like he's like screaming. When he has an orb, he's like. He, He's, he's super good. I mean, he's super comp player, and uh, he got he got way much better than he used to be in the in the past. Uh, I think uh, those years uh, in the in the dark uh, were a huge benefit for him. That's amazing, and and it, to some degree, and and the styles are completely different, and the talent is completely different, the kind of uh, personality com completely different. But it, it, it's hard to argue that probably the two people. At least that I have met, that play or live the most am or breathe the most amount of Counter Strike are Kevin and maybe Apex as well. He just plays all the time, um, so I just love that kind of love that Kevin has for the game. And I mean, we just now that we're doing this, he was playing that much right now. Like he's all the time like doing something. I really love that. And 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 I think you know I 
I don't know enough about Counter Strike, you know, but and 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 you guys are masters at this. But I'm pretty sure nobody expected him to be actually as good as you know, mechanically speaking, uh, considering he's spending that much time. No, we we knew it would be it would be much better. Um, we knew it would be changing some stuff, but we are not expecting that much. Uh, it's, once again, especially about his uh, individual level. Uh, so yeah, it's a uh, it's a really great surprise for us. Interesting. All right. Well, with, with with that said, let's see how how it develops. I think people will be positively surprised. I mean, I'm so happy to see that. And and more importantly, I think that and and this is not something that you probably, Richard, didn't even think about when you were the captain of the team and the in-game leader. You you probably had a lot of stuff in your plate. But when you're in that position, you don't think about the kind of player you can become if you wouldn't do all these things. You you were you were just doing them because you thought it was necessary for the team to win, right? Mm. But now that you have a, a figure that is giving the, ta- the, the team uh, a perspective, you know, a guidance and is made for that role exactly. Are you starting to realize shit? Like, you know, six months from now, I can become uh, the shocks that everybody is waiting for. Uh, yeah, definitely. But at the same time, it's, it's very funny that you point this thing out because since uh, uh, since we are playing together, uh, I, I still need to find a my balance that coming back to a player you know because being a, a team captain and a leader for like two years you can't change the denial, the yeah you are used to speak a lot to take a lot of decision to take more liberties than your players stuff like that and so i have to calm down to come back to the player and sometimes to just not speak uh i'm also the co-leader so i i i, I help kevin but i still need to find the balance for example there are some practice that I will speak way too much and that's not good, you know, because I'm not, I'm not the leader like he is, it's not me. And in the same time, I'm, I, so I, like after we speak and we, we communicate together and I say, yeah, okay, you, you are right. Sorry. Uh, I didn't uh, figure it out. Uh, I will try to, to speak less and whatever. And then uh, the practice just after, uh, it's like, I put like four words in the world practice, you know. <laughs> so but you overcompensate. Yeah, yeah, but the thing is, it's not good as well, you know, because right. he needs help. And CS is like a dynamist game. And when you don't speak, and it's like you are not in the game. So you are not good. Like when right. I don't speak, I'm not good. <laughs> you see? So I need to find that balance, uh, which is m- more complicated than I expected, honestly, because I was just thinking like, okay, uh, I'm going back the in-game leader road. I'm just gonna be focused on myself, and it's gonna be easy. But that's not you changing know? habits. And yeah, it's, uh, that's it. I, I, I hear you. So uh, yeah, I'm really looking forward that uh, when we find the, the balance, especially with uh, Kevin and me. Uh, so it will be really natural today. Uh, I'm not gonna lie; there is still some uh, position or some things to. I mean, how we play or whatever that I'm questioning myself about what should I do or mm-hmm, what can I do in specific things. And that makes you lose a run, you know, and you win some, you usually win because like it's natural and you're not thinking about all these things right. because you fixed it, you know, and we are still in the, in this process to, to work, you know, that's, right. it's. Roma is not going. It, it sounds like a really standard thing when you change the yeah. <laughs> the in-game leading so drastically as well. Yeah. Um, what about you, Kenny? Because for you, things haven't changed that much in regards to your what you do, right? I, I guess it's more about the way the team plays. How did that fit into your into the way you play? How do you like that? No, I mean, uh, I really enjoy playing with existence. I always did. Uh, as soon as it came back, I felt like I felt like more free. Uh, I'm not saying that my uh, Previous game leaders didn't give me freedom. Obviously not. They did, but uh, I. Am... <laughs> <laughs> I mean, <laughs> he's just shitting on you. I have a mirror now. Yeah, Look at but... he's becoming fucking red. <laughs> that's, that's super. Red, yeah. I mean, he make me blush. <laughs> no, I mean, uh, playing with him filled me with confidence. Uh, I mean, playing with him used to be. A great thing for me. Uh, I reached my peak uh, back then, and uh, I, after a month of practicing, I already reached uh, like a level that I didn't reach for a while now. Uh, I also started playing more CS, obviously, uh, being more motivated. Um, that's something 
existence gives it to you, like the the way it talks, the way he acts, the way he walks. It makes you want to to achieve things with him, right? Um, so yeah, I, individual wise, I, I'm totally free about what I want to do, what he wants me to do. I know everything exactly. I know. So yeah, I'm super happy. I mean, I'm super happy Very about good. him. Bye. And 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 how did uh, Eddie and and or how do Eddie and um, uh, Alex, so Smith and Buddy, uh, fit into all of this? How how are you guys finding? Uh, let's start with with Smith actually. He's he's got a lot of flack, way more like we spoke about it, way more than he deserved, and 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 you know it made him actually quit the game and and then realized uh, thankfully that you know his call was playing and he's back and he's super motivated, so. Look, looking at him. Yeah, talking about Smith, I would say it's uh, a bit uh, like me in different ways, but I think you're gonna understand. Uh, he he stopped uh, to play for like more than one year, we, which is really huge. Uh, I mean, you remember RPK when he stopped? Yeah, like it took him how one much, year, two years, one year and a half. Yeah, it was a lot of time, you yeah. know, to come back. Uh, so he's really hard it's really hard but it's not that hard in skill wise because i will give you an example uh for example yesterday he had a bad day and he he was not that good in practice or whatever and um oh, it was two days ago never mind it's not that important about today uh and then when we eat together uh in the evening then he came back to play fpl and i was behind him and i was okay Let's go now. Show me and whatever. And you know, I try to to like he's lacking a lot of confidence, you know, uh, which I think is totally normal when you don't play like this and of course. You, you question a lot yourself of or course. whatever. And he just did like two or three FPL and he just uh, top forget the three game, you know. And I was behind him, and like he was really good, you know, like he was shooting heads, he was. Having zero hesitation, he was just like he's like a super confident bass player. Yeah, right? yeah, definitely. So it just a matter of time. As me, when I say finding my balance, he also need to find his own game style and how he really wants to play, how he's good to play, uh, while fitting in the world team. You know. Yeah, I, I think he uh, after this year of, like of break for him, uh, what was the the hardest point for him? Uh, was the the game sense and uh, his instinct to play CS? He pretty much lost it after this year, which is pretty normal. Uh, so he has to to get back uh, to come back slowly, but it does actually. Uh, I mean, uh, we're trying to guide him as much as we uh, as we can do. Um, but the good thing, the encouraging thing, is that he is actually not bad in terms of skill and stuff, uh, which would have been the, the biggest question mark at the beginning mm -hmm. but um, yeah the, the thing he's lacking right now is probably the the game sense something that he has been always great at it uh, but yeah the, the break has been has been very really hard so he, he needs time to to get back to his former level uh, I would I won't even say like it's game sense uh, because when you when he's playing clutches or whatever like he he plays good and he clutches but it's more about really like confidence and questioning too much yourself. Uh, for example, when he's on his position, he's thinking like for five or ten, he told me like hmm. he's thinking about for five or ten seconds, should I take the line? Should I be to, uh, I mean, holding the back because uh, to um, to not take the flash, which is going or whatever. Should I retake now? Should I wait for ten seconds? You know, a lot of question. And when you play CS and instant game and FPS like this, you can't question. Right. It has to be live, you yeah. know? And that, that's the instinct part. I mean, yeah. It's a lot of instinct. CS is a lot of instinct and making the right decisions, and uh, that's something. Yeah, that's but a, I think that's he... something that is a bit gone for a while and is coming back. That's why you. Now, see he, now he has to think all the stuff that was automatic that's exactly before. exactly like things have changed for him, so he has to think about a lot of things and he's always overthinking. Uh, so interesting. So the beginning was a bit tough, uh, but uh, the good thing is that he's getting better all the time. Yeah, uh, because that, that, that's fixed with practice, right? Simple. Yeah, exactly. And, and, and talking and, communica and, and communicating like that. together to me to to just encourage Actually, him. If, if just... we talk about meta in because if we talk about meta meta in in, in League of Legends or Dota is really easy, right? Is the champions played and how do you play around the map and which are the key roles, I guess. For Counter Strike, what is a change in meta, for example? What is the current meta? 
Uh, I would say the nades. <laughs> nades? <laughs> yeah, since I started so locking down the whole fucking map. Yeah, yeah. The, 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 the thing since uh, since I started like uh, impressed uh, a lot everyone by uh, doing a lot of damage by the nade. We can definitely see in practice that people are trying to Do repeat. The same, yeah. Duplicate. And so sometimes <laughs> you're just getting double nade at the spot. Like you you are, you are not expect expecting it, you know. So I think that actually the current what, what meta is using. So that? What? What makes Astralis so good at that, you think? I, I think Astralis has been playing together for a while now. Uh, yeah. They, uh, that might be one of the rarest team that actually reached their, their peak. Like, the, like there was a lot of team with potential and stuff, but there was not a lot of team that are actually able to reach that potential at the best. And Astralis seems to, to, uh, to achieve that uh, right now. Um, but what impressed me the most about Astralis, the, the, how they play together, uh, the, the team play. Uh, what, what is playing? T- I Im- imagine when we were speaking about with Anoop, uh, what is playing together in this case? Like just refragging and like things like that? No, I mean, uh, like the, they, or they use the nades for, for, for themselves, for, for the teammates, uh, the way they pick, uh, everything is... So team play. It, it, yeah, yeah, exactly, team play. Everything is, but, uh, is really natural also, you know, like, uh, you can feel like they, they have a lot of anomalies. Imagine yourself then uh, 80% of the time when you're going to face them, I mean, their skin, you know, it's either it's going to be two or either... Uh, you're gonna take a flash before when he's coming. <laughs> okay, exactly. yeah, that's, that's annoying. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's annoying. Okay, interesting. So, uh, how much do you think that is playing Counter Strike better versus meta just changing? Can you say it again? Yeah. So, how much do you think that is that they found a better way to play Counter Strike versus meta has just shifted, changed? I just think like uh, the. Totally trust how they play CS. They all feel like playing the same CS, you know. But is is that that they just learn how to play Counter Strike better? Like, is that that they just became so good at Counter Strike, or is it that they found a way to counter whatever playstyle people were playing before? It's not about playstyle. It's okay. uh, it's really in in their head, I would say, and they had this kind of declic, you know, which when you have it. And then you have you win, you start to win, you have your confidence, and confidence. you never rely because they don't do it. They never rely on their facilities. You know, they're always still working, still so, uh, doing a lot of stuff, or whatever. Mm-hmm. Then th- it's kind of easy, I would say, that the max, the the biggest thing. I mean, one of the biggest thing which is really hard, as Kenny uh, said, is to re- reach your peak of the team. And at the moment, they are at their peak, and that's why they are number one, because it's really rare for a team to be at, at its peak. So when you, when you look at the players, um, I mean, they're great players, but they shouldn't be that much better than the second team, right? When you just look at the players. Mm. So it's clearly about team play. Yeah. Now, it is undeniable that, that at some point, they will stop being the best team. That is, again, undeniable. It's just bound to happen. When that happens, why do you think that is? Is because they lost that spark together or because somebody else will have found either a better way to do what they do already or a way to counter it, if there is a way? I think just at the moment they are uh, above the average level. And of course, the most you play against them, the most people will learn from them and will just getting more and more close to you can, them. You, catch I up. See. you basically catch up uh, on them. And uh, right now they are feeling confidence, but uh, it's going to happen one day where they will be... I mean, they reach a max potential, in my opinion. So, yeah, I mean, they can... You know, they are working to keep that level. They are not working to, to be better. Oh, interesting. I, I, I hear you. But then... That's my, that's the... my fault, though. It's uh, not yeah, necessarily no, true, but that's... 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 Uh, but it's Kenny as thinking. It's not the same as as Mateusz, uh, <laughs> the fan uh, thinking. You know, <laughs> so it's it's good feedback. Um, I, I I still I'm trying to wrap my hand around this meta thing, right? Because if it's simply that they just play Counter Strike so well, and that's it. Like I I refuse to believe that after how long Counter Strike have, has lived for, the skill cap has been reached. I I refuse to believe you can't get better than that. 
uh, right? So then what do you think is the next level? How do you either counter that play style or how do you just play better? What's the next step you think? Well, I don't know because we've always been surprised by the level in CS. I mean, uh, like uh, four years ago, you were not expecting people to reach that level. Five years ago, the same. And mm -hmm. It's always like CS is so competitive that players are, are getting so good and so dedicated. Um, so yeah, I don't see any limits to that. Uh, it's just pretty much like uh, like in uh, every sport. Like I mean, football is much like much more like it's they are much more stronger than they were like in uh, in nineteen. Yeah, for 80, sure. Like yeah. you you know what I mean. So yeah, that's that's the same in in CS:GO. Like more professional it gets, more you have uh, the 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 tools to to improve and that kind of stuff. So. So yeah, I think there there was no limits to that. I think there there will always be some... and new maps coming and whatever. Like yeah, the, just... all these maps have been, or most of these maps have been around for a long, long, long time, right? Yeah. And many of these maps may have already been mastered. I don't know. Like that's too. Oh, that's too has been reworked. But has been. Ha, it has it's it changed like, too much? Pretty, yeah, pretty, pretty mm, like a bit. A lot okay. of maps uh, has been changed and stuff. So that's also why, like I, I feel like CS has the the biggest spot potential mm -hmm. because it's always interesting it's always entertaining mm -hmm. and uh it's always different and that's also why people get like sometimes you have asteroids being the best in the world right. like then you had sk because things change like maps change but the pressure points are remaining the same right typically like for example cobblestone yeah, only half the map <laughs> yeah. exists yeah but as you said that meta change and like every team is like when they they reach their the best level and manage to 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 world the world somehow yep. like Fnatic did, SK did, they they always have something that makes a difference. You remember when when uh, Fnatic had this run? It was incredible. Like they won so much. I remember who did I speak with? Was it you? I think it was you actually. Um, that I I asked why why are they winning so much? And and I think you said or somebody who I speak I was speaking with said they just play free. They just go around and make headshots. And they won so many tournaments like that. How many tournaments in a row they won? I don't even know. Like, it was ridiculous. A lot, like, a lot. So, and won. it was just playing, like, there was, it was not this level of team play that we're talking yeah, about here. It was yeah, just, exactly. They played free and they just, you know, YOLO. Yeah. That, that, that's what I'm saying. Like, things change and uh, every team is different. Like, SK is much different from Fnatic and SK mm -hmm. is different from Astralis. Every team well, What is your playstyle? You think? As the next meta is, have uh, you play with five shotguns and you always <laughs> and you only play close range, yeah. and that's it. <laughs> what, is, what is your meta? I hope it's not the five shotguns because then I'm, I'm gonna take a shotgun myself and shoot myself <laughs> in the face. <laughs> no, no. I mean, um, we're still in the process where we are we are trying to to find ourselves and uh, work together and find the automatism and stuff. So you're doing I, I, the basics right now. It's normal. Yeah, exactly the basics. So I would not say we probably found our game style, but what we try to do is to do something like... Uh, we want to create. We want to, to be a team. That's the point. I remember one of the conversations we had, it was um, about this uh, actually potential team. One of the things that made me very happy to hear actually is that... Um, so there are a number of players that come from the very old school French. I'm not going to count you because you're just great at game sense and do it and hitting with the AVP. I'm assuming not with strategies and things like that. Okay. But co 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 <laughs> considering that, I remember I spoke with him and he said, like these players, there are a number of players that come from the very old school CSGO meta of friends, you know, and we just understand the game so well. We are so creative, you know, and those moments in which the round is 3v3 or something like that, are the moments that define how good a team is. is. When it's like 3v3 or 4v4, what do we do now, right? That creativity. So are you still um, uh, are you still confident on on that ability from a specialist myth existence plus yourself, kind of as that trying to bring in that creativity on board? I am, the thing is because we are working that much on, on, on all the basics stuff, uh, it makes our brain uh, more free to get this creativity. Mm -hmm. You know, on the uh, on the work will be done, and we won't have to think about everything, how to work, how to do our stuff. Then it will be just you're right yeah. normal for us to just create ourselves. You know, and that's a point uh, that we I know that we want to do, but at the moment we it's too early. 
um, is to create some new things that you never saw on CS. I'm not saying like we're gonna uh, put a track on uh, on uh, the stool or whatever. Like no, we are not magician or whatever. But we not gonna just look at Astralis, for example, and took all their game style or whatever. Of course, that's because their number ones are some things to take. But we want to you'll play your own country. Yeah, yeah. You we have want to find your own pace. Yeah, you know, to like, create. You know, like we need we need a, a big strategies on uh, I don't know on overpass or whatever. We're not gonna go on YouTube or we are not gonna right. see a team that have a good execution on our brass. No, we have a brain. Let's create our own strategies and how do we see this execute to work and let's make it work. Interesting. All right, very good. What, what, what are your, and again, I'm, I'm assuming, of course, you, you guys, um, uh, you know how the scrims went and, and what is your expect? I'm not talking about, you know, what is your, what, where you think you're going to end up in ESL Cologne, but what are your expectations in terms of team and feelings and energy? What are your expectations? Our expectation is uh, for what? For no, for, the for, ne Cologne? Yeah, for Cologne. Yeah. I, I think, as I said, we are still in the process where we are learning uh, to, to play together. Uh, but I think we have the, the, we have great players that can, that have a lot of experience, that loves being part of those kind of tournaments with a lot of pressure and stuff. Uh, the main goal would be to, to reach the, the playoffs uh, because the group stage is super tough. Uh, it's always been anyway. Uh, anyway, as I said earlier, like the level in CS is super high right now. Uh, so yeah, that's the, the, the main goal is to, is to reach the, the, um, the playoff. Um, and then we will see that. Do we already know the group phase? Yeah, we do. We're going to face Navy first. Oh, that's nice. I mean, nice. I seen it's not. It's hard, but it's a nice, nice match. And I, I, I would add something like, of, of course, we we love to go to the playoff. But in my opinion, one thing <clears throat> realistically that can be really good, and in my opinion, that's something like totally like we can do is like even if we lose, not for example uh, as we did, even if we have only one week of practice for CS or whatever, but like not losing like sixteen to four or whatever, you know, like. You, and and you, it can still happen, of yeah. course, but it's the way in which it happens. Yeah, the thing is, like, just I expect ourselves to fight a lot, to put in a good fight. Of course, taking a win, that's what I want. But if we have to lose, to at least having put a fight and to see what we can pos potentially do, you know? Yeah, that, that was, that just was not getting wrecked like fucking noobs. Yeah, that like, was like having oh. something to improve, basically. Yeah, yeah I, I hear you. With the previous team, it was. Um, it was either like if the tournament started by the first second game you could see whether we win the tournament yeah. or we bomb out of groups. You know? okay. That's true. That's true. <laughs> it was ridiculous. Uh, so it's good to bring some some you know I, if you read Reddit and the G two fans every time things went wrong it's always the same people saying oh my god this is so hard to be a G two fan like I, I expect they they just win a tournament and I expect the same result or something mm. similar and then boom bomb out of groups. And it just is a byproduct of of the actual team how you guys also work together. And if if you both were if you were hitting the shots and you were on point leading the team on every sense of the word and you kept that during the tournament and you win the tournament. Uh, but it was not a team. It mm. really wasn't a team. It was uh, individualisms five times. Yeah. And if if Apex had thirty five frags for some reason and or forty frags and he solo carried well, then thank you for Apex or shocks or. And it wasn't really a team. That's at least the feeling that we all had. And it was so sad to watch. Because, it's, like I said, the old school of Connor Strike. This, you know, French old school people. Mm -hmm. um, well, I am, uh, I am so much looking forward. Uh, not necessarily to this tournament, but for what comes in general during the year. Like we, I'm, I'm actually personally patient. I'm typically not patient <laughs> at all. Yeah, we know uh, but, but with this exact team... And the way uh, the next few months are gonna develop, I'm I'm generally very patient actually, because this is a, a years long um, uh, lineup. That's that's it's a potential, right, for being that kind of lineup that lasts for very very long until you guys look at each other's eyes and know exactly what each other wants or know when the flash one is gonna come, know when the you know what I mean? Yeah, that's that's, 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 that's what, what we, we want to do. Yeah, exactly. That's the, the potential run through each. Very good. So uh, now changing a little bit of topic, uh, talking a little more about 
Counter Strike in general, not so much about the team. Uh, what do you think about this Panorama UI, UI thing? About what? Ah, Panorama. Panorama. Yeah. Uh, I yeah, I love it. I love it, and I can't wait for it to to be out. So it, it, it's you know it's it's a play as a player you spend so many hours playing that any change that happens in the game is like a fresh air. Yeah, yeah that's uh, it. Having fresh air is always good. A great, a good thing for life. life. I mean, uh, I, I haven't. I haven't seen the thing actually. The power of my UI. <laughs> <laughs> I, haven't, I, I, I actually didn't see it. That's so much. I, can you I, I, might have, I, I might have seen a, a screenshot of something, and I think it's great. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> That's hilarious. How, how much do you, on average, um, do you spend on deathmatch? Actually, I'm sure people. I'm sure there's a question about that. On deathmatch? Yeah. Uh, well, recently myself, I spent. Uh, it's not like about time. It's about the kills you make. Uh, I have like I'm setting up like five uh, minutes. Not five minutes. <laughs> uh, like a hundred kills of USB. Uh, okay. Like if I'm I'm lacking of of skill uh, with pistol or whatever. Uh, but yeah, the the usual training would be yeah 100 kills with USB. You can add 50 with blocks if you if you have uh, the motivation. Uh, 200 with uh, op. One uh, 100 with AK. 100 with M4. And that's pretty much my uh, training schedule. Okay. Um, and when I'm, I stick to it. Uh, is actually, is the non AVP ones only headshots? No, no. I'm just like regular this much. Okay. Uh, I'm not like. Uh, I mean, I think it's it's really really nice to expand your, your training. Uh, I think mine is really classic. I'm the kind of guy who doesn't like to change stuff. Uh, if I perform well with something, I would stick to it. Uh, so that's what I do. But I think having new ideas. Trying to to kill the routine is a good thing as well. Mm-hmm. Uh, so yeah, I'm not the best example because I have a routine actually. So okay. What about you, Richard? One tap. One tap. Okay. I'm going on a, on a this much headshot server, and I'm trying to put at least uh, three or four hundred frags a okay. day. Thing is, I would love to sometimes be more giving me more time to really focus on myself uh but because of the our team is kind of new as i said before with the balance of stuff and stuff like uh, i have i still have some work to do with kevin and stuff about uh about creating uh, the the game style together to the team so it's just a matter of times then uh, i can put more hours just about myself okay. So do, do do people actually do pro players still do these KZ maps, the surfing uh, and shit like sometimes, that? Sometimes uh, some players. I I don't know. Does it have any use at all? There's no use, no, right? No, like I mean, zero use. Like for my like for example, my if I I'm on my PC and I want to relax, uh, I'm leaving the PC. But I mean, if I have to stay on the PC, I want to relax. I will probably go surfing or something. Oh, surfing. Something I, I like, but it's just about being relaxed. So you can see you're good at surfing. I like surfing. Yeah. It's really great. It's really See, we should make a video about that. Actually, uh, Lothar, write it down. <laughs> write it down. Make a video about Kenny as a surfing. Yeah, I that, that can be fun. I will you... practice afterwards. Yeah, practice. For hundred hours of surfing. If you want a really good one, like it's uh, he didn't do that for a lot period of time now, I think. But uh, Smith won one of the best surfer. Oh really? Yeah. I didn't know that. Pretty, it was really good. I was pretty good too. Thanks. <laughs> So you know what you do? You t- you take a surf map, you take Kenny, you take Smith, yeah. and you have uh, because there is like nine step or whatever, you have the time. So the first finish wins. Oh shit! Production. The surf race. The surf fucking race we want here. Is there? A, there has to be a map with like a race, right? Uh, I don't know. Yeah, but there is a lot of maps. There but the maps, thing is like you have time. There is oh, you can have like invisible uh, figures, and then you have right. Yeah, yeah. The thing is like oh, you have you you have time and you and you have steps. So there's just. The first who cross the line wins. That's oh, it. Oh shit! Like whether they have best of five or something like that. This is this is great. This is great. I'm loving it already. I'm loving it. G two to buy yourself server. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, one of the best moments uh, of my gaming life has been just with music. I remember myself in my in my room with music, just doing KZ maps, like yeah. like just jumping around and like I wasn't like the greatest, but I had so much fun. This is basically the same for us. Yeah. Like it's like surfing. meditation, you know. You yeah. just be there with your EDM on the side and just enjoy yourself. Nobody pissing you off. No pressure. Yeah, I, I love to that. Kill people or you're done. Just... I love that. It's so old school as well. Yeah. Like when you used to play with your friends in the cyber or whatever. You also have the bunny hop map. A bunny hop map? Do, do you yeah. play with the script? 
or not? No, uh, script no. is not allowed anymore, right? I mean, can you? Are there servers with script? I don't know. I don't know, but I mean, it's, I mean, it's useless to do it with a script. Like, uh, but yeah, but uh, there are like maps that you have to like jump so much, and then I basically practice yeah, my bunny up on matchmaking and face and face hit. I feel. Oh, you do a lot of fucking bunny jumping in official games too. Yeah. I, I love to bunny jump. I, I think for an open, it's really important to be able to, to move properly and have the one of like the best movement. It's and really turn like, your AVP into a shotgun. Especially when you're aggressive, you have to to have the room to fall back and stuff. And you know, you, you just calculate in your head like the, I need to do this and this to escape. Mm -hmm. uh, so it's really important for an open to be to be really like mobile. I hear you. I hear you. Yeah, I, I see all the time you're doing crazy stuff like either there's a smoke or something and you just jump through the smoke yeah. with the bunny jumping and then try to shotgun the guy with the avp that's hilarious so what is a day of of you guys um normally looking like so when do you wake For the up boot camp or no no, no in general not in boot camp just uh, you're in your home or uh, whatever like the, the 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 perfect routine like i had for like last week maybe uh was waking up an hour before practicing uh doing some death match um uh, Trying to reach the the five hundred kills I was talking about earlier, and uh, you know the first thing you do. Yeah, yeah you don't shower. No, I do. I mean, <laughs> I mean, when I say being able to be on the PC an hour before, okay, the okay. starts. So, so you shower. You what do you eat, what do you eat in the breakfast? Like, do you eat anything breakfast? No, I don't eat breakfast. No uh, coffee, no nothing. I don't green really tea? eat a lot lately. <laughs> okay. No, but uh, so yeah, sometimes I shower during the break. I have to admit it. Okay, but I shower at least. That's okay. <laughs> And uh, yeah, so basically making you this much before the practice starts. Um, and then, uh, well, since there with the World Cup, uh, I do nothing oh, till, yeah. till the game is over. And then playing some FPL or face games. All right, very good. So you, how many hours do you think you, I mean, and again, it's, it's not right or wrong answer. Some players, they like to play 10, some really like to play 4 or yeah, 3. Like, like I'm, I'm the kind of players that needs to play to be good, obviously, but I don't need to put like yeah. 100 hours. Like, yeah. 60, 80. Okay. Be, well, that's decent. I mean, that's, that's, that's not that's, bad. That's enough for me. That's not bad. To be at my best level, I guess. And then it's like confidence and a lot of small details that that makes you perform even better. Like, is there is there anything you do, Kenny, in your day to day uh, that is not Counter Strike related that helps you? Oh, in lots. Game? <laughs> for example uh, seeing my friends uh, playing FIFA I love playing FIFA oh nice are you good yeah. you know every yeah. time oh, we have to play one day we have... no you don't want to play against me I swear to yeah, God yeah that's why I hear every single time I hear this every single time yeah we can try I, and I, I hear this every single time is um, yeah sure I mean uh... production another fucking video Kenny is versus me playing FIFA yes I'm, I'm happy to do a 4.5 stars you won't, you won't want it public what you won't want it public okay. i don't think so okay well we can try we'll okay. see you yeah, can but, try but, but no, no five stars team okay no five stars oh no worries I, I i i don't do tricks or anything like that Me neither. so for 4.5 stars is fine you know spain or they yeah. played in 2010 yeah. yeah i played the same in FIFA. oh you tiki taka yeah oh shit. well i mean if you don't do tricks you have to do tiki taka i right? do tricks as well oh you do tricks as well yeah, i'm pretty complete player <laughs> production Cut, no, no cancel, more. Cancel, no. <laughs> cancel, cancel, the shit. Yeah. No okay. one heard this. No, <laughs> no one, no one. So FIFA, what else do you do? Just do. Uh, I, I actually, I game with my friends a lot. Like, when I say a lot, it's a lot. <laughs> so you, you enjoy uh, social interactions, company. Yeah, I mean, uh, I think it's important to, to have uh, other people in life than yeah. uh, than you walk or no for sure a hundred percent other things a hundred percent what about you richard me uh when i wake up i take an orange juice uh then orange I, juice yes okay then i take a little thing just to just have it something on my stomach because you know when you wake up you i need to have something in my mouth so okay. that's pretty much it food uh, i hope <laughs> and uh <laughs> <Can he? laughs> oh come on guys i know we're 12 i know 12 oh. by the way Ah. <laughs> 12 by the way <laughs> so yeah you uh, need to have something in your mouth and yes and then uh... <laughs> we are idiots man <laughs> I'm sorry Richard that's fine and then uh, I have uh, usually a lot of works to do uh, when it comes to my home uh, like uh, 
Uh, I don't have all the specific words in English, to be honest. My language is not that good. Uh, I mean, especially... Actually, it's much better than two years ago. I can tell you that much. <laughs> much better. Uh, but, uh, for example, uh, you know, the, the clothes, when you wash it, you wash your clothes, right? So mm-hmm. I have to... Oh, yeah, okay. Uh, okay. Okay. Yeah. You do uh, the laundry? Yes, I'm doing the laundry. Uh, I need to clean the house. I even oh, the, so you're even you're the, responsible at home? Yeah, even the toilet, the bathroom, everything or whatever. Jesus, so I, I'm t- I'm taking care about uh, all. He's, uh, he's a good man. All that stuff, gentleman. Uh, specific, I mean specifically because uh, my uh, my uh, my girlfriend who is getting uh, my wife next year. Congrats! Uh, Congrats. Thank you. Uh, Congrats. Like uh, loves to have. Uh, good luck. Um, like he's maniac, yeah. He, she's maniac. So. She's a maniac with the with the being everything clean. Yeah, yeah like Jerome. That's it. Like Jerome, is Jerome <laughs> the same way? <laughs> I mean, that's a good thing for a manager. Like otherwise, things wouldn't look as. I mean, the, good. The, the I've manager, seen some shit. The manager job fits perfectly. I mean, manager job has been created for him anyway. <laughs> <laughs> he has the, the the qualities, the flaws, everything that that belongs with the package. You know. I agree. So Jerome is the manager of the team, by the way. So in. After so, that? Uh, so no, no, I'm saying, so you have the Counter-Strike time and then after work, you work. And then what do you do after work work? Wait, it was when I wake up. Oh, you wake up and do all that shit. Yes. Huh? Holy f- <laughs> no, this man is a gentleman. <laughs> yes, then I take my sleep. Sh- then I take my shower. Because okay. usually, uh, because you're sweating, sweating. <laughs> yeah. you're sweating from work. Yeah. Uh, then I'm uh, taking my coffee. Uh, I'm I'm eating and I'm starting this match instead of going to the right. computer or whatever for the world day. Uh, when once it's finished, when I have time, I'm just taking this time to to enjoy my uh, my stepson at home, to having fun with him, taking the bath, taking care of him, That's awesome. what everything like this. Then uh, seeing, of course, a lot of uh, of uh, the girl who, who is at home and just waiting for me so we can share at least because she has like a normal job, you know, so mm-hmm. she will be like at 10, 30, 11 maximum at the bed. So, and sometimes we finish screams at uh, eight or whatever. So, you know, we have small space yeah, to, one hour, to see hours, each other. Yeah. So trying to enjoy that space of time. Uh, then uh, I do, I usually, I mean, a lot of times uh, I do a message for her, uh, for his, ba- for her oh, back. Oh, nice. I think it's, uh, no, it's I great. Know. I think it's great. No, but this, this, this is question. perfect. Next question. <laughs> no, but the, you know what the problem is? The problem is that now he's raising the bar so much that we're yeah. going to be fucked. Yeah, I mean, that's the perfect guy. Yeah. Uh, the thing is because uh, because she 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 does a lot of things that makes her uh, nervous, you know. So it really mm-hmm. helps her to stress. You to, mean really yeah, stress? Yeah. So it really helps her to sleep better. That's and, awesome. Uh, and once she, once she's sleeping, I'm going back to the computer and playing some uh, CS. How many hours do you guys sleep on average? Seven, I would say. Seven. Uh, well. <laughs> Me, <laughs> sleeping is a passion, right? So, it's, uh, it's, uh, it's black like, belt in sleeping. Like, it's like she has good, it's like football. It's like a lot of things. Sleeping is a passion. It's not. Like, I know it's needed in life, but it's not like I do it because I have to do it. I, I see. do it because I love it. So yeah, it depends. <laughs> like uh, when I'm in boot camp here, I'm lacking of sleep. I'm sleeping like eight, nine hours. <laughs> You're uh, lacking. <laughs> <laughs> no, but then I can reach. Uh, I can reach like uh, especially that I used to party a lot when I was younger. So. Oh. The weekends were like uh, in bed. Okay, okay. Well, fair enough. You need to uh, have good rest if you want to. <laughs> yeah. If you're gonna bump but, around. Uh, when you get older and you want to be more like responsible and stuff, you you cannot uh, sleep. That I much. hear you. So in, in in a in a game day, let's imagine it's um, let's imagine you guys are uh, qualified for semifinals, whatever tournament, right? And it's it's game day, right? And then how is your day looking like typically? I, I forgot. You, I forgot who it was to play for the semifinals. So, <laughs> <laughs> try to remember. Okay, what would you, what would Kenny do if he would one day reach semifinals and wake up in the hotel? What uh, do you do? Do you I, have a, a I, I don't habit I don't, something? I don't really know. I'm just uh, no. I'm I don't have especially any habits. Um, I think that's the uh, things that needs to be worked on um, because, as I said, everything's getting so professional now that things are changing. That you approach to games and everything. Um, but yeah, I don't know anything really like special. Uh, what I'm trying to do is to be free awake, not having like 
any doubts in my head being at 100%, mm-hmm. not feeling tired, uh, because, because feeling tired is really like impacting your mind. That's what I think. Yeah. Uh, and that kind of thing. Especially if you sleep only nine hours. <laughs> <laughs> no, so yeah it's exactly I'm trying, I'm trying to sleep like I'm not trying to oversleep that's the, the balance to find in what in is oversleep events. for Kenny 16 no oversleep for me it's like yeah 12 over 12 12 for sure no sure. oversleep you mean yeah oversleep oh. I mean <laughs> oversleep can be can... that's insane by the way like that you're gifted I mean gifted I guess you can call that a gift some sort <laughs> well you cannot sleep more than 7 hours I no, I, I, I know I can't. Sleep. I think it's maybe it's, nine if I like force myself, but yeah. ten maybe. I mean, it's a great thing. I, I was not sleep that much uh, doing more things. Uh, so what I'm saying is that I'm trying to get more responsible in yep. life and stuff. So sleeping that much is not possible anymore. Is it like a song that you listen to before games, something like that, to pump you up or something like that? Mm, yeah, uh, I mean. Every time I'm playing CS, except when I need sound, like death match, uh, warm up, pre-game, mm-hmm. everything is, is played with with music. Uh, and I listen a lot of French rap and Damso, uh, Damso 50 Cent. Oh, 50, 50 Cent. 50 Cent is uh, American. Fuck. Sorry, um, not 50 Cent. I was about to say Booba. I don't know Booba, why I said 50 Cent. Of course, Booba. Uh, but also a lot of US rap. Uh, oh. I really love rap overall. Uh, well, I'm not really familiar with was a kind of rap like Spanish Did he rap fucking and... say 50 cent? Oh, I... Yeah, you just said 50 cent. I French. literally said 50 cent as a, as a French rapper. But I don't really listen to 50 cent. But does he do new, new music? Not really, right? 50 cent? No, 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 it's, no it's, he doesn't, right? It's, it's he does whatever. School, right? He's it's, it's, producing. It's more like 10 years ago. It's a bit old school. Producing shows and things like that. The guy's buffed. Holy shit, you see him? You should follow him on, on Instagram. Yeah. That guy, I don't even know. Like, he just. You see him fat, and then like one month after, he's yeah, for, like buffed. For movies, the, the, there's a really sad story about him is that he he was really dedicated to a movie where he lost a lot of weight, and he was like almost like a skull. And uh, you probably never seen that movie, and I didn't either. And no one did. <laughs> so and nobody the, gave the, a crap about the, that movie. That's and... the sad part. Interesting. He's doing now um, uh, Den of Thieves, I think is the show he's yeah. making. Uh, Paul, uh, uh, he's, yeah. There is that uh, that that show and also like uh, the show called Power. Power yeah, yeah Power. Power. Is that good? I haven't watched it. Uh, I watched uh, two seasons, I think, and it was yeah pretty good. I like him. I like him. So you, you, Booba, Damso, what does he listen to? Uh, so much like uh, PNL, uh, Mohana Squad. <laughs> but uh, like right now, I'm more like in my. Uh, I'm educating in, in, in. By the way, I'm educating in French rap. Rosalie, my my, my lady, loves. Yeah, that kind of music as well. It's all uh, day. I, I listen to so many stuff. Uh, like I'm always trying to get to be aware of what is new. If I like it or you no, know, I really like that. So you get motivated with uh, with French rap or rap in general and mm, before yeah. games and things. Okay, that's good. That's good. Anything else you do? You meditate or something like that? No, no, no. Uh, no, I wash my head with cold water sometimes. Oh, that's actually really good, by the way. That's, that's really that, good. That's probably what I like. I do, I do that uh, before every tournament games, like washing my and trying to focus on the eyes, like putting the eye, the cold water in my eyes. Uh, I feel more awake afterwards. So that might be the, the only one. habit I have. It's a good trick. Tricks like those, people. Are, I'm pretty sure people enjoy those tricks like those. Cold water. Uh, have you ever showered with like cold, cold, like dead cold no, water? No, no, not that. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> you don't go that far. You know, I'm doing um, for the last. I think this was 10th day something like that and i'm doing gym and sauna every day and in the sauna i end the sauna with a mega cold shower for mm-hmm. like 15 seconds or something like that and sauna is a place where people are just you know quiet right and every time i take the shower i'm like <laughs> <laughs> every i'm pretty sure i make everybody weird you yeah, know? yeah. Well, every morning that you need courage to, for, to do that yeah, no, you absolutely you absolutely <laughs> do the, the that I don't have, to be honest. <laughs> nah, fair enough, fair enough. So, Richard, what do you do in a game day? Uh, honestly, nothing special. Uh... Nothing special? No. You just play? Go there and play? Yeah. No music, no nothing? Mm, no, not, uh, not not special. I used to to having uh, music, but since uh, when you're going to tournaments, pieces, now you have to give your phone. So there's a lot of time you don't have access to, Whoa, to your that phone. early? So be way yeah, before? But that's, that's what I mean. Different, depends on the tournament. But like when I say listen to music, it's 
when I can, but also like my travel from the hotel to the to the venue. It's uh, like trying to get my own bubble, you know. Okay. What are the so in your eyes, in your, in your position, you've been professional player. How long have you been professional player? 2012, which is six, six years. years yeah. You? I have no idea. Like too long. <laughs> <laughs> too long. Yeah, it's too long. <laughs> <laughs> so what do you think? Like just knowing what you know, what do you think are the hardest things from being a professional player that people just don't get and can never get unless they become one of you? Uh, well, I think we have uh, we all have different side of everything. I mean, uh, we all think differently. Uh, myself, uh, things that got super hard was traveling so much. Uh, like planes, airports, something I hate. I mean, everyone is like, oh, you're traveling all around the world, which is super cool. But when you do that half of the year, like sometimes being away for weeks, mm -hmm. it's, uh, it's starting to be a bit like depressing, mm -hmm. uh, especially when you miss people, when you have friends, family, and all the stuff. I mean, you, 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 you have some needs and stuff. I mean, So yeah, that's the, the difficult, the, the most, the hardest part for me, the, the travel part when it gets too much. Uh, but then, um, I mean, otherwise we have more upsides than downsides. So you consider yourself lucky from the position you're at? Yeah, I mean, uh, I, I consider myself lucky, uh, but in the other hand, I didn't really experience doing something else. Oh, that's a good point. That's a very good point. I started being a professional player when I was really young. I was like 15. Uh, that's so a very good point. I never actually did something else. So I know I'm lucky, but am I, or am I totally aware of that? I'm not sure. That's a very good point. I haven't thought about it, actually. I've, uh, I've never worked in Starbucks or anything like that yeah. I think it gives you it probably would give you very good uh, perspective probably mm. which would help you I don't know but it's a, it's a very good point what do you what do you think Richard in general uh, what, what is what are those things that people just completely ignore I just don't know about uh, I think that it's really is exhausting and usually you would just remember that uh, Of course, it's a dream what we are living, and of course, like we are living from our passion, and not one hundred percent of people living in the world like will just do anything possible to to live from their passion. You know, it's something really incredible. Um, but yeah, if I can say only one word, I would say just exhausting, because we play a lot, we travel a lot. And we don't have that much holidays, uh, pretty much like uh, less than normal people. And yeah, sometimes you, you come to a point where you will just love to being at your home, do nothing, sleep, rest. And is, is, isn't what happened uh, um, to all of a good example of <clears throat> why this is such a daunting job um, in the sense of It sometimes it really doesn't matter what happens to your life. You just you can't. That's it. Yeah, you can't choose different. Like you just have to go to the tournament, and you have to play it. And people don't understand that pressure. Like, and it's impossible to understand that pressure because, for the most part, most jobs in the world, most jobs in the world, allow you to um, take time off if you hit rock bottom emotionally. But here, you take time off. You literally you can't lose the chance to be relevant, right? That's it. And it's 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 interesting because <clears throat> if you have a, um, I mean, there are many jobs that require you to be the best you can be, and this is one of those, right? If if this is not like if you just show up, it's gonna be enough. Like if you just show up and do the bare minimum, it's likely gonna get you replaced right so again that's added pressure that people don't think about right so how do you live with all of that because it, it in many uh, maybe you don't, you don't think about it and you just go by but what do you think about that it's, it's just very tough yeah well yeah it is uh, i mean uh, it happened in my life in my career where i was like damn i don't want to go to this tournament I, i feel like i need some i need something else right now you know Uh, but you have to do. You have to go because this is your job. <laughs> and as you said, uh, 
if you decide to take some time off, things can change so quickly. Uh, and when you when you li when you don't have anything uh, you can rely on, uh, you yeah, you just you just shut up and do things, you know. And as you say, showing up is not enough on uh, this job. Uh, so yeah, and also like people tend to underestimate the like spending a whole day being focused on the screen, uh, talking, being dynamic. It's also really exhausting. That's true. I mean, we're not building houses, we're not working under the sun or under the snow. So it's not physically is, daunting, but it's, it's physically super hard to do that. Mm -hmm. And I wasn't what I do, but it's also really exhausting to focus and the whole day being be be dynamic and you know that's super exhausting as well. The concentration, the concentration, yeah, the concentration, the focus required, right? Yeah, very good point. All right. I'm I'm pretty sure fans um, like even if you explain this because you, only if you've lived in these shoes I think or 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 in a high pressure kind of job like this you can understand uh, because many people that I and I I've gotten this kind of answer way too often like oh you can just turn off yourself a couple of days and that's about well those couple of days may actually be more important than you think right you can't just do that you can't just and and choose yourself when to do that. Mm -hmm. Maybe a tournament, maybe something. Um, all right, you know what we will do, uh, Lothar? Yeah, what's up? We will actually have, because it's fuck, fucking hot here. It we, is, it is. We need, no, I'm serious, I need this water. is insane. I need water. We need a fan or something here. Because here's, <laughs> here's the thing about Berlin, people. Berlin, uh, or Germany in general. You, you're like, oh, Germany. It's not, it's not hot in some, well, motherfucker, it's it fucking is. hot. Yeah, it is. It's so, so hot, it's like, Almost like Spain, really. And the problem is that with um, uh, ACs, the, the rules for ACs, if you live in a, in a, or you have the office in a compound or something, you can't just put an AC. You need like the approval of some, go I, I don't, it's just against the rules because it looks bad. Having an AC looks bad? Yeah, because it's ugly, right? Yeah. So most places won't have AC because of that. But you have two months that you're just dying. Like, yeah, I mean, uh... Oh my God, no, this is totally this different. Is this is, oh, I'm just flying right now. I'm flying. <laughs> Why haven't we thought about this earlier? Can you hear that in the microphone anyway? Let me check. Okay, my yeah. t-shirt is stick to my, to my skin. <laughs> <laughs> it's like you did sports. Yeah. It's like you did sports. I, I, I was about to make a break, but we don't need a break. Yeah, are you guys good? Do we need uh, well, do anything? I think I'm good. I'm fine. You need some Coke, some something? Mm. Something, Coke? No, uh, just fine. Okay. Uh, that Joe! Please bring us water. Three, three glasses of water. I hope he's watching. I was, <laughs> if he's not watching, he should be, right? He's like, he's like, he should be. Listen, he should be the assistant of Lothar. I think he'll be open for that job. By the, way. <laughs> the assistant of production. Right, we're going to keep talking, by the way. So place the camera in a way that we can have a conversation. Fantastic. Thank you. <laughs> So World Cup, actually. Oh, great. You, you don't care about that, right? I don't care. Can I, I don't, take a break? I don't, like zero. You can like, take a break. <laughs> yeah. You can take a break. <laughs> small break. So you don't care at all? No. About that's, it? Like, you, if France wins, that's the French I don't think the office for you. Yeah, that's the I French like culture. That, I, don't, that, I don't like football. That's the French culture, and that that's annoys it. me a lot. Yeah, that's it's not about the French culture. It's just that I don't, the French, the, it's just I don't like football. That's it. Yeah, but there is a lot of people that... I mean, in France, we don't have the, the football culture and that annoys me, like the other countries, oh, Spain. Yeah, Spain, Germany, Italy. Spain, uh, everywhere, but France, <laughs> I mean, Italy, England. Uh, well, England, I mean, uh, if I would be English, I'd just give up. Uh, I mean, England I might have might have the best team they, they had. Oh, yeah, because, yeah, yeah, that's like, true, right yesterday, now, like, right? They're actually like, the new coach, Gad Southgate, he's really great. Oh, is he? Yeah, I think he's, good. Uh, he's a good guy. He's so, a good what, what, what do you like soccer so much? Have you played it? Yeah, I did. And how 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 was that? Was it a catastrophe, or you were okay? No, I was uh, I was really good at what I was doing. Uh, I was a goalkeeper. <laughs> a goalkeeper, that's good. I mean, don't don't laugh. But uh, uh, I, was, uh, cool. I was I uh, was yeah, pretty good at it. And, okay. uh, and then uh, CS arrived. And then CS uh, arrived. And the game soccer went away. Else. <laughs> exactly. It, it, is in the team? Is there anybody else that plays football? No. Okay. Nobody like Barry doesn't play. Smith doesn't play. No. Jerome doesn't play. 
This is so bad. If, so if we can't make a team against SK, we'll get destroyed. Exactly. I guess. Well, this is bad. Yeah. This is bad. I mean, who, who are the teams that play? Was SK versus VP, right? Yeah. I was feeling so... Oh, it's, they had Snacks, that's true. It's, yeah, but but Snacks is a... Man, he's a tank. Like, he, yeah. Snacks was a tank. You saw that shit? He really... Thank you very much, Lothar. You're the best. Thanks. What about my glass of water? Here. Empty. There's no water. <laughs> um... Um, yeah, we, I, I really want to make a, a football game, but we can't make a G2 football Maybe we can we have to like do the if you cross me, games. I think we can, stuff. but uh, I think you, you have to let me do we the win. Yeah, but that's a problem, uh, Richard. <laughs> we want to win. <laughs> that's, a, that's, a, that's a problem. You know, we, we can do with the League of Legends guys. I think the League of Legends guys actually play. Um, I know that, I mean, all of them are yeah. soccer fans in one way or another. So I think we can, we can be like Kenny, like Carlos, and then like three guys that we pick up. Okay. And then we do some 5v5 five five versus yeah. SK. Like we have to. Scrap. Lothar, do you play football? Yeah. Do you, I mean, do you, you play do? football? Like for real? Yes. It's like, yes. do you play? Okay, no, let, no, no, let's be real here. Like, how, how yes, that is. <laughs> well, when I was in high school, I was in the representation of the school. So I guess that was like, okay. Oh, in the, okay. You're hired. It's fine. It's you're fine. hired. You're hired. Okay. What, what position you play in? Uh, defense. Oh, oh defense. that's perfect. perfect. Holy shit. Perfect. You're hired, Lothar. You yeah. are hired into our team. What else do we have? Fourth and fifth. I think perks, Jan, because these people will be okay. I like it. We need a goalkeeper because I'm not gonna play a goalkeeper. You're not gonna. I mean, you, you're losing I'll, your I'll, worth. I'll, I'll, like the, my wolf in the field would be would be much appreciated. No okay, okay, understood. Okay, but so, then after five minutes, I would be tired, so I would go to goalkeeper. <laughs> okay, okay. So you're like a revulsive. Like I can be the water boy if you want. The water boy? Yes. You can be the coach. Yeah, I mean, we need the water. You can boy. be the no, coach. Just no, fucking no. move faster. Come here. Yeah, okay, I will, I will not understand anything, but I will make it Run, know. run! Yeah. <laughs> okay, so, World Cup. You're following, you're not. Mm -hmm. What do you think about this World Cup? I think it's okay, a mess. great World Cup. It's a great World Cup. Why is that? Um, I think the level is really high. Uh, not necessarily really high, but uh, you can see that uh, every player has been prepared for that for years. Uh, when you see the intensity uh, of physically good they are, um, it's a really like tactical. This World Cup is really tactical, uh, but like I'm really, I really enjoy, I, I really enjoyed this this World Cup so far. Except that Germany got knocked out, so I'm really. Oh, I was so sad actually. Yeah, we watched it together. Uh, I was depressed. At the end. Uh, but yeah, we got to to watch games, games like Spain Portugal. That oh, were like shit, that one was of amazing. the one of the best game I ever was, I ever seen. To be honest, it was really good. Uh, so yeah, so far so good. What do you think about France? You, are you guys playing good football? I think. Uh, I think friends should start playing football. Uh, should start playing with the the players. The players they have. Uh, I think they should actually start firing the coach. Um, so yeah. Chuck disagrees, by the way. Yeah, but I'm just he doesn't watch football, so I don't know why he disagrees. <laughs> he just he just disagrees. Yeah. So tell me why did <laughs> Deschamps is a good coach? I'm not. Say, I'm not saying he's a good or bad coach. I don't know anything. I just don't like the fact that you are. Not being nice with your country. That's exactly. It. He's not being yeah. proud of the nation. You are talking about the culture, but when you have I, the I'm culture... Being, also, being, but I'm, if you I, touch I, the coach, you touch I, Richard. Okay? I'm, still the, I'm still like, I may, maybe don't have the football culture, but at least I'm a patriot, you know? And even if I don't like football or whatever, I will be, be proud and happy if the France wins. That's it. That's it. I, I'm not saying I will be happy. I'm just saying that that's why I'm so... I, I, I give so much criticism to France because I want them to be... Playing like they should be. Right. The players they have. Who do you, who do you think uh, will win the I, tournament? Uh, that's super tough question because World Cup is always so hard to predict. Mm -hmm. um, Spain against Portugal has been super good. But uh, Spain in the, has a very good bracket as well. Spain has really good. Yeah, bracket. but they will face Croatia, and Croatia is among the favorites to me. Oh really? Um, I think Belgium is also really really strong. Uh, Even with Brazil, Brazil without Lukaku. Lukaku is very good. I used to, to I think he was a bit underrated, uh, but yeah, I think there was a lot of good teams that can actually win the the war thing. Uh, but if I had like favorites, I would say Spain, Belgium, rising Croatia. That's a lot of favorites. But there's no friends in there, by the way. He hasn't. He, he didn't name. He named like seventy five teams. Yeah, I'm None sorry. Of them was... I'm just. I'm just being. <laughs> I'm just being realistic. I, I, I hope I'm wrong. <laughs> I, would, I would be greatly wrong. Uh, apart from from Counter Strike, thanks for the water, man. Uh, apart from yeah, the, thanks. gracias. Uh, apart from the uh, the from Counter Strike, 
Do you guys play any of the games to just uh, FIFA enjoy? By by yourself, you play FIFA by yourself online. You do that? Uh, yeah, I do. Oof. I do. That that's that's like a rage machine. Like that's a rage generator. I do, but I decided I'm spending a lot of time with my friends. So, so yeah, I play FIFA a lot with them as well. So you try hard as well, multiplayer try hard FIFA. I, I'm not player. a try harder, but I'm more interested into it. You know, so I'm not gonna like. I might have watched some. FIFA Pro games and you know to to get the mechanics and oh shit that's okay that's try hard Kenny like you can't say that's not fucking try hard yeah, you're literally <laughs> checking how the professional yeah, players I'm play I'm not playing that much right I'm just, okay I'm just good at it like naturally and and I'm playing the right way I think I'm okay. not the best player but I mean I'm a tough opponent a tough opponent okay are you better at offense or defense mm. Uh, I think I'm really good at creating game, the the, the game, having the ball, yeah. uh, creating chances and being being fast and changing the right in the game and the kind of things. Um, I actually it actually depends on the opponent. Stronger is the opponent, more I would be focused and uh, and be strong in defense because otherwise I would be just like you know. Pressuring with two players and doing do mistakes, uh, creating all for them and stuff. So, so I think yeah, you, you haven't played opponent. FIFA, right? Does that sound try hard to you? Yeah. Sorry. Does that <laughs> thing he's saying sound try hard as fuck to you? Um, it, I I just think like when the thing is like when I, I probably assume that when he's saying like he's uh, seeing his friends, he's playing with his friends. So that's why he got this <laughs> level, you know. <laughs> Okay. If Fair you enough. see a lot of your friends and you play a lot of FIFA, and then of course, like you try out it, then you are good. Fair enough. Are, are you are you movie enthusiast? Like, do you actually like to follow whatever's new? Oh, uh, the movies in, in the cinema, yeah. Uh, yeah. Zero as well. I uh, I, I. Man, yeah. I, you, you, I'm I'm actually impressed. Like even like even though every answer is no, like I'm actually impressed at that. Like, how do you entertain yourself aside? <laughs> Yes, Counter Strike. It uh, incredible, <laughs> incredible. Uh, You're super unique. The, the the thing is, like, I used to have different center of interest uh, back in the past, but since uh, I'm a stepfather now for two years, and I got my own family. And you're a very like, family man, right? Yeah. When general. when I'm not on CS, then I'm just with my family. That's Fair pretty enough. much it. Fair enough. What are your favorite movies of I all time? Actually, yeah. Let's go there. Actually, I like that. Oh. That's that's gladiator. That's oh yes, you're speaking my language. I really exactly. like Interstellar. Oh, as well, yeah. I really like it's like my top three movies are yeah. those two for sure. Um, I really like the Batman's movies. Oh, that, those are good as well. Very great. Which one? I mean, of course. Uh, as long as you have Christian Bale, it's great. Yeah. Yes. Not the old ones. No, no. 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 Who watches that? Yeah. So <laughs> can they hear you, production? Can. So they cannot hear you. Okay. Production just said the old ones. So, no, sorry. Production just said not the old ones. Who the fuck? Watch the old ones. Watch the old ones. <laughs> like, you're that one guy that watched the old ones. Nobody else. You know these ones that I just... I, I just look at it and I cringe. I, 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 I understood. If, I understand if you got born 40 years ago, 50 years ago. It was like the cool thing to do back then, right? Hey, the first one was pretty good. First one was pretty good. What was the first one? <laughs> well, to me, it's Keaton. a bad fan. With who, who, who? Michael Keaton. Michael Keaton. Mm. And that was made by uh, Tim Burton. Oh, oh Tim Burton. Yeah. Well, the end, the guy make the, the movie of uh, Edward. Yes, uh, exactly. The, the hands that were scissors. Silver. Yeah. Scissor man oh, yeah, or whatever yeah, it's called yeah. in English. How is it called in English? The scissor man the, person. The, the, the silver sizes, I don't know. Yeah, yeah. I don't know the name. Scissor head. So and, and that, that's like okay the older stuff. Anything new? Like, are you a big fan of the Marvel movies? Uh, yeah, I mean, uh, I've been going to to the to the cinema almost like twice a month for the last year. Uh, the new Avengers is really great. Oh my god, that was amazing! Really great. You have to uh, watch it. The, the last... I saw it. You watch? Do you like it? Hey. That was okay. Hey. That was okay. Man, it's, oh, it's, I, it's I, I can't talk like about it because this is a podcast and people. Gets born. And the last I, I, I went to see it because of my girlfriend because she is like a huge fan of Marvel. Oh my god. So she loves it. 
and I liked it. Okay, but yeah, I'm not feeling the same passion yeah, as you, you because know? you're not a nerd like like we are about Marvel. Like I am, I am biggest nerd. No, I like I love cinema. So. Oh my god, Iron Man, Thor, Thanos is really fucking great as well. No, Thanos, Thor is Thanos. badass, really amazing. And actually, the 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 actor, how was the actor called of Thanos? Um, it's the same guy who plays Cable in Netflix. Yeah, the same guy that plays It's insane. That guy's yeah. insane. It's super funny as well. Super funny. Okay, I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna tell you a secret, Carlos. Give me a secret. I'm not a fan of Marvel, but I'm a fan. I'm a fan. Or <laughs> I'm a uh -huh. fan of romantic movies. Oh, romantic! Oh, I actually oh. love them too. What are your favorite oh. romantic movies? Titanic. Yeah, I'll be. I'll be honest, I like that. I like it too, but it's, it's not something long. I'm proud of saying it. I would rather travel than watch. I'm fine with it. I'm fine with it. Do you cry with those movies? Of course, you are not proud of. I can be proud of seeing Titanic. I'm proud to say, like, I make a message every time to my girlfriend. I'm watching the the toilet and the bathroom every day. I mean, that's okay if I say I'm I like Titanic. Yeah, I can deal with that. No, good good for you. I mean, I one thing that I hate to talk about. I don't know why because there's nothing wrong with it, but with this drama uh, drama movies and drama um, broadway shows and things like that like i i'm always fighting with my throat yeah, not to cry I like cry. i'm like uh, i would tell you, I, I would tell you a secret myself now uh i cry in front of movie deep. a lot deep, and man. i even cry in front of anime so well actually the animes are, are are not bad for that right like the, everything like the song that i don't know everything is is so like Emotional to me. What is your favorite anime? I have a lot. Uh, oh, so you watch a lot of anime. I watch a lot. Why uh, don't you tell me this when I when I ask you? I mean, Dragon Ball is the okay. the classic one. Yeah. Um, you watch the new ones? I haven't, but I did. Uh, Attack on Titan. It's. I, I haven't good. watched it, but I I saw. By the way, by the way, this is. This, <laughs> I was I was checking. I have a Switch, right? Mm -hmm. And and I I I don't know why I bought it because I don't I don't use it. But me when I, when I was checking when I was checking which games to buy with my Switch. I see one that says Attack on Titan, mm -hmm. and then I join, the, I, I enter into the fucking video, and it's like naked giants. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm telling you what, it's naked giants Eating walking people. around and doing like shit. Like naked, like actually mm -hmm. naked, right? What kind of... What no, kind it's, of... A, it's a great show. It's a really dark show. It has a lot of intrigues and uh, like the titans have a purpose and everything you will learn of watching it so watch it and then yeah i watch a lot of other shows like other things i love watching shows i love watching movies i love watching animes i i went to new york just recently and uh, watched uh, a broadway show called wicked it's a, a wizard of oz mm -hmm. it's, it's the same story but i think before or before and um, it was the same i was actually alone I went by myself because I'm weird like that, and um, and I was fighting with my throat, shouldn't cry. Yeah, my man. That's the yeah. People say it's not money, but I think it's actually important. It, it I I, what why does that happen actually? What what do you cry in such movies? Like, do you feel like the protagonist? What, yes. Why is that? Yeah. It's like empathy. Yeah, yes. exactly. It's empathy. Exactly. I, well, I watched Thirty Reason Why. And the last episode was heartbreaking because of the empathy you feel for the main character. Uh, so yeah, that's, there is... I think that's the, the empathy that makes you... And I mean, the, the, the environment, the, the song, the, you know, the feelings you have, to, like the, the interaction between actors, you know, everything makes... Yeah, sense. there is different type of emotions, but I'm this kind of guy who cry at every movie. And your girlfriend never cry. You, know? so <laughs> you are feeling really good when you are on the sofa watching the movie, you know. And that, and every time she's just doing like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, mean, I almost cried in the Avengers. The, the last oh, one. me too, me too, yeah, me the, too. And I was with. We I was, cannot spoil, but no, we can't spoil. We can't spoil. But I, I, I was there, and I, I looked on the side because I was with Rose, right? Mm -hmm. I looked on the side. She was not even close to crying. Yeah. And I was like, I can't, I can't cry because <laughs> I, just, I just, I just can't. She, if she cries, then I come like yeah. being pathetic. But otherwise, yeah, I, it's, it's tough, man. It's tough. I don't know why we men are so reluctant. I mean, we most men, obviously not Richard, but are so, <laughs> are so reluctant to, to these things. Actually, it's, it, I don't know why. I don't know for myself, it's 
where I cry the most easiest one, it's not when it's sad, it's when it's beautiful. Like when it, Yeah, for, same here. For yeah, example, when there is here. a lot of solidarity or stuff like this, like uh, I cry every time. I don't know why, because like it, it looks like in the world you, you never... Ha like it just so much beautiful, like it's not real, you know, and you just cry because like... Fuck it. I Something want, good I, happened. I, yeah, I, I, wanted, I want it to be real, you know. I yeah. basically cry every time there was Beautiful. strong emotions. Bad or good ones. Strong yeah. emotions make me Mate, cry. There, there's one movie called uh, Hercules with The Rock. Oh, uh, yeah. Okay. So bad. What are you saying? It's so bad. Bro, I was about to say it had like one of the best yeah, moments. Movies, that movies. I had like goosebumps. Yeah. I was about to say something I mean, I'm sorry, that you had to edit. So I'm not going to say it. You, you put Dwayne Johnson in the movie? The movie is bad. What are you saying? The Rock... Yeah. Dwayne, The Rock, Johnson. Yeah. Would... I know you love him. Are you for real? <laughs> like, he's amazing. Dwayne, you know Dwayne real? Yeah, yeah. he's I amazing. I His movies are well. like simple. I would he's say. Good in comments. Man, yeah. Jumanji is insane. And like, I fell asleep in front of Jumanji. Nah. I watched it the next day and forgot. I watched it the day before. Jumanji is amazing. You're I don't being so unfair. Remember anything about Jumanji? Nothing. I oh, watched man. it though. And Hercules, Bay Watch. I, was, did, you, I didn't like watch it? Baywatch. And oh, Baywatch. I haven't watched that. Yeah, but that one, I, I didn't. Dogs. I didn't hear good things. But but Hercules, you haven't you haven't liked Hercules, but you like Gladiator. It's the kind same kind of movie. A movie like it's very similar. Yeah, but Gladiator has like uh, Hans Zimmer movie uh, song. Uh, yeah, that's true. Like Hans Zimmer is, is insane. You know. Yeah, that guy must be getting paid a lot just to make like to, to make music because he's the every single the soundtrack he's made in Inception, the history. Inception, Armageddon. Insane. Interstellar. Interstellar as well. Oh, you know, there's a making of of the Interstellar song on YouTube. You should watch it, actually. All right. Because they, they went to, to this guy. Um, he was in a cathedral. And the guy was an expert with the organ. And they made the sounds with an actual organ. And the guy gave the guy... Uh, so Hans Zimmer gave the guy the partiture. Mm -hmm. And he killed it. It was... Like, you have to watch it. It's a super short. Like, 15 minutes, I think. Right. It's insane. That song is amazing. Interstellar song. You watch the movie? No. Wow, you're, you're missing out. I'm, t I'm telling yeah, you. Eh? Stuff. Do you like space stuff? Well, I usually don't. Not that much. Oh, you usually is, don't? This movie is special. And you no, cry. but I know. Like, <laughs> uh, I, mean, uh, I like my cinematographic culture is really ridiculous. Fair enough. I, you, you played Mass Effect in the past? No. Mass Effect? Okay. No. Yeah, I'm, I'm, a big, I'm a big fan of space stuff. I don't know why. I have no idea why. What, what do you think about Fortnite in general? Like, Fortnite? Yeah, Fortnite. It's just so fucking crazy how it exploded so fast. What do you think that is? Like, the funny stuff is that my own friends that are uh, nothing to do with this one stuff play Fortnite. I'm like, why don't you play Fortnite? Like, I already have a job, you know, and I, I, <laughs> I much prefer CS than Fortnite. I swear to God. <laughs> and yeah, I feel like it has been a mod. Like, uh, like something that gonna be forg like forgotten like uh, in a year but it seems like uh epic games is trying to to get into to everything and try to to keep uh everything stable but in my opinion it's something that's gonna be gone in uh in a few years i mean this is what people miss out actually uh, so i'm 28 i've been here since i was 14 so that's 14 years and in 14 <laughs> years i've seen nothing like fortnite in terms of like the actual impact but I've seen many games like Fortnite in the sense of they come and so much hype and then yeah. they go away, right? How many like how many shooters have appeared like that? How many like that? So many. Yeah. Uh, Even so, the battle royale thing is something super common right now. Yeah, battle royale. I'm not a big fan of battle royale actually. Even, and 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 many people are like, oh, one it's stressful. day. It's super stressful. Yeah. I played Ash one z one. I was like super stressed all the time. Actually, I think H one z one for some reason I find H one z one to be the best. Uh, yeah. Battle Royale, actually. Oh, that's the only one I played. <sighs> but Man. yeah, I think it's oh, it's a good thing for eSports though. Like, I mean, it gives more like inside and perspective to people that were... No, it's perfect. Like, uh, it makes it mainstream. So, it's amazing. So many people uh, got involved and uh, many personalities, singer, and you know, when I see what Ninja does, it's really great. The, 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 only, the only challenge I see, or the biggest challenge I see is that Everybody's saying, you know, somebody will get it right in terms of the spectator mode and things like that, right? But it's be, that that has been said ever since Day Z uh, had this battle royale thing, and nobody has done it. Maybe it's just so complicated to like follow the game around yeah. in a battle royale game, like yeah, so complicated. 
I, I'm actually struggling to see any competitive future for those games. Uh, I'm not really like pro in that, but uh, as you said, like following the world things, making making it gym game and stuff. It's it seems so complicated. Yeah. Well, one of the good things I think it should be done more often is the team speak stuff. And I know you guys, for the most part, as professional players, may not like that. Team what? Team speak. I mean, team speak. Like the comms, the, yeah. the team comms. Um, and and they've started doing it in in baseball. I remember. Um, it's not a team comms, but it's so there was a so there was comes. I I don't understand baseball too well, but there was something, and the referee said, "No, yeah, that's a foul or whatever it is." And I'm sorry, by the way, I have I nothing about baseball. I was the first time in my life a few weeks ago in a, in a game. It's boring. It's okay. It's boring. I'm not gonna say it's boring. It's okay. It's a data. It's a, it's it's a data driven it's, sport. It's a family you, show. You, you, it's a family show. Yeah, that's a good point. You've been Man, to you're... a baseball game, right? Huh? You've been to baseball yeah. game. Yeah. It's 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 good. I mean, it's it's positive environment. People are just there hanging out, and and so, and something happened with the referee, and they showed the the. The comms, right? Yeah. And people were like freaking out. It was like it was viral on Twitter and everywhere because people were like, oh, this is what this sport needs right now, you know. Yeah. And every time I see that done in esports as well, it's just so successful. So I wonder if one tournament organizer or publisher will come and do the same, but consistently and well all the time. Riot does something, which is like after every game they show some comms on the highlights of the of of this. Uh, but I'm talking about like live stuff. I'm talking about live. Like being able to listen to live communication of of a of a certain team, like maybe paying premium or something like that. I don't know. Like there has to be some kind of mechanism, and the level of fun that somebody watching can have is insane. I feel like we're missing that. My it's true. Swearing. What? My swearing. It's okay, man. Like, what can you say? I mean, yeah, you can you can say very bad things in a game. Actually, you can say very bad things in a game. That's the thing. Yeah, yeah. that's that's <laughs> that a good the... point. Yeah, no, yeah, it must it must be because of that. Because it's a family show. Like they're I mean the fact that you record the the, the calm, the communication during the, the game, for example, mm -hmm. makes sense. But outside the game, I mean things can get super dirty between us, you know, we we're just friends, so yeah. we're talking about everything. <laughs> yes. So And you have your own code words. Be, yeah, it's better if it's between us. Okay. But yeah, the the comms yeah, you, you, uh, yeah, or you should have some control before just upgrading it on internet. You know? Yeah, like a few, like a few minutes of control. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. Um, let's go for some viewer questions. Production, be ready. So let's see. Let, let, let me read a few. Um, some of these I already asked. So thank you very much for putting them twice. <laughs> Production team. Production <laughs> um, guy. <laughs> um. So e eclectic. Q U E asks, "How is the chemistry between this lineup and, uh, versus the one with Apex and MBK? So, what are the major differences? Uh, like, and you can go as basic as you want, just so that he has a peace of mind." Honestly, I just don't want to answer. Uh, not uh, just because. Uh, That's a good point. Okay. I, I don't have any problem right now with Nathan and Dan, but I just think what is the past should stay in the past. We move on. Don't worry. Um, All good. So, um, thanks for the question, though. <laughs> Thanks for the question. E eclectic key. Like you need to fix that fucking name, by the way. <laughs> you can't just make questions with that Twitter handle. I'm serious. I'm I'm kidding. Please do. Uh, at Idea Dorch, what do you think of Scream as a player, teammate, and friend? Have you ever played with Scream? I, I did, uh, but it was a long time ago. I think we should before have, uh, Epsilon, right? Was it? Yeah, in back in Titan. Ooh, yeah, before Epsilon was. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, you you know him better than I do. Yeah, I think he's a I think he's a good guy. He's friendly. He's funny. You can have a lot of good times with him. Uh, he's he he definitely got a talent when it comes to aim. Honestly, um, the only problem I can see with him is sometimes it's um, it's that uh, he will put himself instead of the team okay you know and that's what breaks uh, the magic or breaks the team spirit oops sorry the team spirit or whatever he he knows how to be a good teammate mm -hmm. i know it for sure and he has been one of the best teammates i ever had but he also been this kind of teammate like it's not possible to work with you know so i, I don't know what is in what is in his mind i honestly didn't that much uh honestly with him so i can't 
say anything bad or whatever. I just think he got the keys. Uh, he got the keys. It all depends to him to to take it to open the doors. When when he was playing, um, I mean, the iteration of G two last year, no, year and a half ago, right? Mm-hmm. Um, you and him had like, like he had really good like six months. Yeah. Really, really insane six months. Like, every, like it was a half a fifty percent chance he would thirty bomb. Like it was a fifty percent chance he would. Th- it was incredible actually. Yeah. For, exa- time. for example, uh, I don't want. Okay, I, I'm I'm not like the. Uh, I don't want to say like uh, shitting on him or whatever because he's really. Uh, of course not. No. You, like you, or, actually, or, you or always whatever. speak very highly about him. Yeah, even I, I internally. Really, I really love him or whatever. But for example, at the beginning, like he he was doing a lot for the team. Uh, he was thinking for the team or whatever, going in front, uh, cheering, uh, pushing hard your teammates. Was like he was perfect, you know. And more the year passed, more uh, he became good, and he started to play more individually, mm-hmm. to speak less, to be more, uh, to be less a team player, mm-hmm. uh, stuff like this, you know. Interesting. You you think that with a leadership that knows how to manage this kind of talented player because he's super talented do you think he could thrive like thrive as in succeed i think it happens yeah i don't know how i don't know who but i mean you you, did a very, mean, I mean, you yourself did a very good I, job with I, him i mean i did he's definitely not a stupid guy you know you just have to know how to to speak with him and that's something i i, I didn't know how to do you know i i had some time when it comes to to difficult moments we had hard times when uh, it was really hard for me you know i don't know why but just you know sometimes it's hard to communicate with with a person you know and i had this this problem with i did okay fair enough and, and your your experiences with him uh well i was uh, back in the days i was in, we went gaming house uh so it was basically the guy i was spending most of my time with uh we are always together um, as a player, my memories is not like on point. Uh, I remember him being super good, obviously, uh, being uh, a bit inconsistent, but uh, it's the, the well, I mean, a scream is scream, we know him. Yeah. But um, the, the the biggest memories I have about him uh, as a as a, as a teammate was probably outside the game. So judging him as a, as a player is a bit hard for me. Uh, but uh, he was a, I mean, I had a lot of great times with him. All right. Um, Ad Libervik. Who? Ad Li- Libervik right. asks, who are the favorites at Cologne? And then he asks, and what can G2 expect? Astralis. But, but, okay, Astralis by far. Yeah. Uh, the, uh, so, bar Astralis, who's, who are the favorites? Face. Uh, Face. Even with Chroman? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I mean, uh, what do you think makes face good? Is this all the players are good? I think I, I, I think you just, you just find a way how to work together, and then they're all happy together, and so it works. You, 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 you said like carry you, 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 you can you can feel it when they when they play in game or when they are talking together, whatever. They look like friends, you know. Yeah, that's they are, true. They are enjoying their time together and stuff like this, you know. So when you have the good the good team spirit, the good feelings, and plus you have a lot of best players of the world, then of course you're going to be really good. Yep. Uh, I said Carrigan because <coughs> I'm not in the team and I might be wrong, but uh, FaZe has been through a lot of things, especially with uh, all of stories and things. I mean, uh, that might be some, that's something super annoying to, for them, obviously, because all of was is obviously a super player and uh, and uh, they had to change, and they used standing. They used more than one standing. Uh, they lost a lot of final, um, so they pretty much had everything to to basically go down. Uh, but we actually never seen them going down. We uh, even though they're using a standing, they constantly perform well. So I don't really know why and how, but uh, I, I wish the, the conclusion why I think. Carrigan has something really important uh, with phase and it, what it brings. Uh, I don't know if it's leadership or, but you, you can feel the chemistry as we should say it. So, so uh, as, as you guys know, we hear 
everything that happens in the in the lineups and rumors and so on. It's our job as well, right? Um, and we heard a rumor like not too long ago, like maybe five months ago or something like that, that Carrigan will be replaced potentially. And and um, it was actually it was a, the the reason I name it is because it was like it felt like it was real. Uh, he's, he seemed to have a couple of tournaments that were not very good, even though they got like second or something, I mean, second the, and fourth the, or something like that. I mean, the, the major final from the outside uh, seems <laughs> like the, the overtime in Inferno, he, he, did a, he did some bad course. Like, you can see it from the outside. I see. He did some bad course. He made, I mean, he's not perfect, right? Uh, but I'm, I'm convinced that he, uh, he has the, the impact he has uh, is, uh, is super important for them. Yeah. So yeah, rumors might have been true. I don't know, but uh, yeah, I don't know what's happening. Other teams, it's just oh, this the team is fucking amazing. Every it's fifth just the, player, the outside perspective. You know? Every fifth player that they bring, like Chromen, for example. I mean, he's a good player, but he's really playing much better than mm. he should, right? Yeah. So they have this environment that makes everybody thrive. I yeah. think yeah. it's a very positive thing, right? Mm. So good for them. Good for them. I, you know, people think actually we have a we have a grudge with phase or anything. We actually don't. We actually have having adding great terms with them. So the best for them. The second best. Best for us. Um, at time CSGO asks, how has existence evolved as an in-game leader? Is there a lot of micromanagement still or is his style looser now? Only oh, of course think, both think, of you have, have yeah I think we, we can uh, we pretty much answer this question. Yeah. Uh, in terms have of you? micromanagement, I mean existence still have a bit of micromanagement sometimes. But we way less than in the past. Okay, so, so past. that has changed. It has changed, and we also don't forget to tell him, shut up, <laughs> you know, yeah, like yeah. when he did, when matters, like when he started, he started to, like, no offense, but you're not in LDLC anymore. And, right. you know, um, so yeah, I think it's like bad habits he has, he had, but everything is yeah, much better. Yeah. When you play with, with players that are less proven or younger, then you have to forcefully micromanage, right? Exactly. Much more. Yeah. Got it. Um, at MCS Wagagad, no, Wagad, at MCS Wagadag, are we going to see Vintage Kenny S and Hard Carry Shocks in this new G2? I think we're going to see the Hard Carry Shocks in this new G2. What about Vintage Kenny S? You, you purposely... No, we change Kenny S for sure. Oh, I like how you both, oh, yeah. I like that. Mutual love, and you're gonna see, you you're gonna see see him directly at Colon. You won't me. You will maybe have to wait <laughs> sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, but, I, uh, I mean, I mean, Richard has been. I mean, he's he's, a, he's an amazing player, and you know, like everything that happened to him and stuff. Like the his confidence is really shaky right now. But I mean, shocks is shocks. Right. The, by the way, like you guys don't realize. This is like Cristiano Ronaldo and Messi on the same team, literally for people. So enjoy this moment together, you know, because these things don't happen too often. Enjoy this moment together. Yeah. Um, so we're back together. <laughs> enjoy it together. You know, I think this is a fantastic way to end. Enjoy this moment together and fuck shit up together. Okay. Let's give the G2 Army some uh, Ws. We all trust you. So very much. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> you guys are the best. Seriously. This was amazing. Thanks very much, man. It was it was fun. It was fun, yeah. Uh, I uh, I got a lot of uh I got introduced to what you like. I got introduced to everything you don't like. <laughs> <laughs> I, got, <laughs> I love the simple the simplicity of your life actually. Mm -hmm. Like I wish I wish I could just be as simple in that regard, you know? It's just very simple, you know, like, pin, 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 that's what I like. You, can, make... you know, there is a, a proverb, a proverb, yeah, yeah. Single yeah. things. Uh, that is really, it's the truth, trust me. It's like, it's not that you don't have the time, it's that you have to take the time to take the time. You have to take the time to take the time? I'm going to think about that's, it. That's fucking deep, man. That's really deep. Have you gotten to? It's yeah. really deep. <laughs> yeah. You're a philosopher. Here we go. Do you meditate or anything like that? You don't do any of that? Like he's happy. Now. He must be. <laughs> he's just happy. Happiness right, from meditation. <laughs> <laughs> well, anyway, thanks very much, guys. You're the best. Um, uh, we'll have another one of these in the future. Hopefully, Shock's is fucking shit up. Kenny's fucking shit up. Kevin, love you big time. Thanks. For everybody else.
Uh, thanks very much for staying with us. I look like uh, your average um, host. I'm doing like this because this is what I do with all my news here and everything, you know. It's been a pleasure to be with you. And uh, uh, per action, do I have any outro? This has been a long time since the... What is... what? No, no. Do I have any outro myself of speaking to the camera? Because there's been a, lot ta a long time ever no. since the previous podcast. We have a one recorded. Oh, you have one recorded from me. Yeah. Is that with a fucking pimple here? Because no. it's pissing me off. No. By the way, the shit that you see before before the podcast, I have a pimple here. That's the first thing I saw. Man, it's so annoying. That's the first thing like, I saw. That's the production. That's like, the we have to do another one of these, by the way. Because when I saw the video, I was like, no, this can't be possible. Like, it wasn't even that bad of a pimple. It was just that Rose likes to break them. Ah, yeah. Every girl. She likes oh, yeah. to break them, so when she sees one, she's like, Chim! she just like focuses yeah, yeah, yeah. on it. Yeah, like there's nothing, nothing else exists, and that's like, yeah. Shoo! Can you can you see that we are happy uh, for Colin? We are coming. <laughs> uh, mine, yeah, mine. because they, they take also the hair. Mine is actually it's over soon. Ah, it's over yeah, because mine yours, yours mine is, is coming just yeah. there. No, no, it's it's, it's, no, you're gonna get destroyed. Like you get back from Colin, you're gonna be. Oh, yeah, it's gonna take three minutes. You have a good face for the camera. Yeah. And yeah, for uh, the media uh, day uh, Monday. How do you call that in good English? Good timing. <laughs> how do you call that um, in English? Use foundation. I don't know. Is the, is the uh, in the Spanish entrecejo, which is uh, is in the middle of the unibrow. Uni yeah, the unibrow. Yeah. yeah, I mean every man has unibrow. I'm sorry, you're you're not manly enough, production person. In French, we call it the M because it's the M of McDonald's. <laughs> oh my God, that's hilarious. <laughs> Anyway, people, I love you. G2esports.com slash shop. Shocks, by the way, has a, has a cap coming. Oh, no, coming is out already. You, <laughs> you can buy it. I'm sorry, dude. It's, it's been a long day, okay? And you prefer to wear these ones and wear mine. Listen, I don't have yours, actually. I don't, I'm waiting for yours. I don't have yours. This is a true story. What mm -hmm. I mean? Uh, you that would have been. That would have. He's you, selling it and he doesn't have even one. That's actually he's insane. Not the one who's gonna that's actually. Is, <laughs> man, <laughs> I am the person. <laughs> this is it bad. That's nothing he said. That's super bad. That's bad. Cut, cut. <laughs> <laughs> production, you have to edit that shit, okay? I'm, <laughs> I'm better than this production. No, seriously, I should have done the interview with you, with your cap. We need the graphic designers to edit the whole thing. Yeah, maybe we should start over again. Start over <laughs> again. gtwitter.com slash shop. Buy Shox's cap. It's fucking amazing. He designed it himself. I'm not even kidding. Like he literally designed. I mean, not he. He went. He didn't go to Photoshop and did it himself. But he gave us the full <laughs> feedback of how he wanted it. And uh, Kenny, we have to do something for Kenny. Production, write it down. We have to do something for Kenny. Okay. What do you like to do, actually? What would you like to do? You don't wear caps. What do you wear? Uh, no, I don't wear caps. Uh, we... You like to wear t-shirts, typically, right? Yeah. Yeah, you have one right now. <laughs> That's, a... <laughs> That's an indication. That's an indication, yeah. exactly. <laughs> I mean, uh, we'll think about it. I, I don't know yet, but yeah, uh, yeah, many, many projects, many projects. Okay, I have we, many uh, projects. You know, we can give you a, a pirate patch, like one eye patch, a oh. Kenny S one eye patch. Yeah, but it's really hard to place. Yes, with a, with uh, a patch. production, write it down. Kenny S one eye patch, pirate <laughs> one eye patch. Um, love you very much. I'll repeat: youtubespro.com slash shop. Buy everything and production. Please do the thing. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the show. With that said, you know this show exists because of you guys. We want to teach you about esports, we want to entertain you, and for that reason, please provide us with which topics do you think we should be speaking about, which people do you want us to invite. And um, yeah, with that said, please head over to g2esports.com slash shop. Uh, we do our best efforts to create the best possible merchandise for you guys. So please check it out, uh, buy anything you like, and see you on the next podcast, see you on the next episode.